Okay, so let's get back to working on our little synth. It's coming along nicely so far. We can finally do some worthwhile sound creation now that we can pan and adjust the volume of each oscillator. Next up, I'd like to add some delay. Now, the idea is easy enough, but it takes a little bit of thinking to decide how to implement it. Let's go ahead and add the delay module to our project. Right click, go to Insert, and down to Effects, and click on Delay 2. On the Delay 2 module, we have Signal In, Modulation, Signal Out, and feedback. Your first thought might be put this in line, perhaps before the Moog filter. But there's an issue if you do that. These ADSR gates are controlling the volume on the VCA modules. When I play some notes, the gate is opened, and sound passes through. When I release the keys, the sound is cut off. If this delay is in line, it will only sound when the keys are being pressed down. A couple videos back, we looked at adding a phaser after the VCA modules. This works well in this situation too, except that I'd like to build on that. Let's add another Delay 2 module, since this is a stereo synth we're building. Plug in the outputs of the VCA modules to the signal in plugs on the Delay modules. Next, I'm going to add two more VCA modules, so that I can control the volume of the delay before it's passed out through the I.O. mod. Pass the signal out from the delay module to the signal plugs on the VCA modules, and then connect the VCA's outputs to the IO mod's output plugs. Now I can add some controls to this little delay unit. I'll add a slider, and connect it to the volume plugs on both of the delay's VCA modules. If you wanted to control each channel's volume independently, you could just add a second slider, but I'd rather keep this one simple. Next, I'll add another slider and connect it to both delay modules feedback plugs. Let's rename the sliders. First, feedback. And next, volume. Okay, the feedback controls how many times the delayed signal will repeat set to zero, and it will repeat one time. Turning it higher will result in more repeats. Next, let's add two sliders for modulation. We want to control the modulation separately for each channel. Name the first slider delay time L. And the second delay time R. Now, the value of 10 volts being passed into the modulation plug will give us a delay time of 1 second. If you cut one side down to 5 volts, one side will repeat at 1 second, while the other will repeat at 0.5 seconds. A few more things about the delay module. If you decide to automate this modulation parameter, you're going to want to enable the parameter Interpolate Output. To do this, go to the Delay Module's properties and change Interpolate Output from False to True. This will reduce clicks and pops and will enable smoother modulation. However, it will result in an increase in CPU load, so there is a trade-off. Next, you can change the delay time up to a maximum of 10 seconds. Earlier, when we passed in 10 volts to the modulation plug, we got a delay time of 1 second. That's because this value was set to 1 second. 10 volts will give you 100% of the value specified here, where 5 volts will give you 50% of that value, and so on. So there you go. Now we have a nice little delay effect set up here that will add a lot to our sound. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.